In this module, I'm going to discuss how to create virtual machine using Terraform. Um, so in this case, I will be creating the Linux uh, version of the operating system. So in next video, I will be focusing on Windows. Uh, let's get started on the Linux one. So if you are missed my previous modules, I've created uh, two videos so far. One is on creating the virtual network using Terraform, and the first module uh, talking about the uh, absolute beginners. If you are new to Terraform, uh, if you want to understand how to set up your environment, uh, like uh, installers and managing the state and running some of those commands, you can look at that module one. And this is my uh, summary. So I'm right now focusing on the module three. So in module three, what we'll be doing, here is the agenda we will be creating a resource group, creating a VNet and subnet. So these are something we already created, so we are going to recreate or reuse them. Um, the next one we are going to focus on creating the public IP address, network interface card, or the virtual machine, and actually creating the, I think this is duplicate, so creating the virtual machine. So if I take you my project, so this is the, the project for creating the, um, virtual network. So as I mentioned, I've already created a couple of resources like a resource group, uh, virtual network, and subnet. So I'm going to continue using the same script. So I've created a output file, also the variables. So let me start adding the script for virtual network. So in order to create the virtual network, I am going to have the uh, public IP address. So if you are wondering where how I got the script, so uh, let me take you to the uh, the reference document, uh, the Terraform. So this is the uh, GitHub link, but let me take you to the registry one. So this is where I will be getting the the subscript, uh, the script, the Terraform script. So if you are searching, uh, planning to create, uh, let's say, Azure RM virtual machine, so you can search for the particular resource here. So this is the Linux version of the uh, documentation from the Terraform registry. So you will be able to see all the script, for example, I think this is the one. So you'll be able to see all the script um, with along with uh, required uh, documentation on each of the properties. So let me add the public IP address. Uh, this is the name of the public IP address, reading from the variable. That means I need to add the variable for the public IP address. So let me quickly copy some of the code related to the public IP address. So I can use the tags at the end. So this is the public IP address name. I'm going to use this public IP address for the VM1. So I will be hard coding the name of the one, name of the VM, VM1. So let me also add a couple of other variables which I'm going to use part of the virtual uh, machine creation. So I will need the network interface. So this is the network interface name. And I also need the availability set. I'm going to assign the availability set. So this is the name of the availability set. And this is the actual uh, Linux VM, which is going to be created as part of the script. So I've added the variables. Now we have the script for um, virtual network, subnet, and the public IP address. So the resource group and the location, I'm using the same resource group as uh, whatever has been created part of the VNet. But when you are creating the virtual machines, so you can think of having the separate virtual, uh, separate resource group or the separate uh, uh, resource group name. So that is something you will be getting uh, from your requirements. So let me go back to and get the script for uh, network interface. So, I've already copied, uh, prepared the script for network interface. This is the name of the network interface uh, resource name. And again, I'm reading these from 
the uh, variable. So when you're reading any values from the variable, so you will be saying that val dot and then name of the variable. The same thing, uh, location and resource group is going to be same as my resource group where is created. And this is the IP configuration. So I would say internal, and this is the name of the uh, subnet. So if you want to refer the existing resource uh, in the new resource, for example, this is a network interface, but I need reference of the subnet. So what you need to say, Azure RM underscore subnet, which is the uh, prefix in the resource block, and then followed by Fnet, which is this, and then ID. So this will give you the reference of the subnet ID. And this is my private IP address allocation. So you can say static or the dynamic. And then next, what I need is the availability set. In the availability set, this is the name of the availability set, which is reading from the variable and the location resource group, same as the resource group, which I created. And um, I want the fault domain, update domain, uh, the default value and then uh, the default value for the managed equal to two. And then finally, I need the, uh, the actual virtual machine for the uh, Linux uh, operating system. So let me copy that code too. So this is my script. This is a little bigger as compared to the other resources because I have everything inside the um, virtual machine itself. So there is a difference between the uh, Windows operating system and the Linux operating system in terms of the Terraform script. So if you go to the Terraform documentation, you will see Azure RM underscore Windows underscore virtual machine. That is for the Windows virtual machine. And whatever I'm uh, talking about is right now is the Linux virtual machine. So I will talk about the Linux Windows virtual machine in the next video. Now let's focus on the Linux version of it. So I need the name of the virtual machine. Again, I'm reading this from the variable. So let me, this is my name of the virtual machine. Uh, I need the location. I have to mention the availability set. So as I mentioned, this is the availability set. Uh, so I'm giving the reference of the availability set here. Since this resource is also creating along with the same script, so you should say uh, availability set dot uh, the, the suffix and then ID. So this will give you the ID of the availability set and associated to the virtual machine. And this is the name of the resource group. And this is the network interface IDs. Network interface IDs uh, need an array of network interface IDs. So in order to say that this is an array, you need to use these uh, rectangle braces. And then inside that you need to refer them NIC ID name. So for example, this is a syntax, uh, just like a C sharp, like uh, you know, in the string manipulation. So you will use the uh, dollar and then curly brace and then network interface, uh, which is this, and then uh, NIC, whatever the name you have given here, and ID to refer the network interface IDs. And in order to say that this is an array and you need to use the rectangle array. And VM size, I've hard coded, probably you may want to read it from the variable.tf file. So that's the variable. And uh, here you can uncomment these in case if you want to delete the, the operating system disk or the managed disk along with the operating system deletion. So you can say delete OS disk on termination and also delete uh, data disk on termination. So if you set it to, uh, these will be deleted uh, when the VM is getting terminated. So uh, yeah, these are not recommended because you may want to manage the, uh, the data especially separately. The storage image reference. So I would say uh, this is for the Ubuntu operating system. I'm picking from the latest uh, scope. Uh, this is the OS disk uh, details. I will prefix with the name of the VM and then say OS disk and it's going to be rewrite and uh, create option and also what kind of uh, disk you are looking for. So standard or premium. So if it is premium, you could say premium LRS or if it is a standard, standard LRS. This is the uh, OS profile. So this is the place where you want to specify the username and the password. And then finally, uh, the OS profile uh, Linux configuration and uh, assigning all the tags. 
So when I, uh, this is how the script looks like for the VM. Uh, let me run the script and uh, create the virtual machine. So before running, uh, make sure that you may want to review the script once again. So I will start uh, using AV login. That's my first command to make sure that you log into the Azure. So since I already logged in, it is showing the existing username. So once I click, uh, this will get automatically closed and you will be able to see I'll be connected to the Azure. So once I connected, in case if you have more than one subscription, so you may want to set the subscription which you want to work with. And also the next command, uh, these are the, some of the things I've already discussed in my previous uh, module. So you can say Terraform initiate. So it's going to initiate the Terraform commands and then you can say Terraform plan, which is going to create the, the execution plan. Uh, before actually apply the changes in the Azure. So this may take a couple of seconds. So the Terraform plan is create done and it says there are three, uh, four getting added, no changes or no destroys. So uh, in the previous run, I've already created uh, resources like the resource group and uh, the network, virtual network and the subnet. So my state is still uh, um, not destroyed. So my state is still present with these resources. So uh, the currently whatever is getting added is listed here. So we can look at those details. So availability set is getting created. And then uh, network interface card, public IP address, and also the virtual machine. So these are the four resources getting created. So in the next uh, command, you can say Terraform apply. So you can also say Terraform validate uh, if you want to check if validate the you know the configuration of the syntax. And you can also before commit, you, you may also want to run Terraform format FMT, which is going to format your files, .tf files, and then I will say Terraform apply, which is basically <clears throat> finally uh, execute the script in the Terraform um, by comparing the state. So this may take a couple of seconds. So it is confirming again, whatever the resources are getting added as part of this run. So I will say yes, run those uh, changes. So once this is executed, I'll be able to see the additional resources getting created in the existing demo. So the previous module, I created a resource group and the VNet. Now at this time, I'm expecting the virtual machine along with uh, the network interface card and other resources getting created. So you will be able to see the status when the script is running. <clears throat> Public IP getting created, availability set getting created. The virtual machine uh, also started. So while the script is executing, you can also see the status of those uh, resources getting created already. So for example, availability set got created. VM is still getting created. So yeah, now all the resources got created. Let me refresh these. So yeah, this is the VM uh, OS disk. So I prefix the VM name and the OS disk and same thing with the VM hyper nick. So you may want to follow the better naming conventions for your uh, resources. So this is a VM. And if I want to see the disks, for example, so this is a OS disk. So I have not added any uh, the disk. So if I want to add, let's say, manage disk. So since I already have the script, I can update the existing script to add the manage disk. So let me get the script for manage disk, for example. 
So this is the manage disk script. So I want to add one disk. If you want to add multiple disks, for example, so you may want to add multiple uh, resource blocks for the each disk. So this is the name of the virtual machine and then uh, resource group name. So I would be going with the standard LRS, but I'm sure you want, want to look for the premium one. So this is the disk size. So some of these values, you may want to read it from variable or I'm actually going to take you through the how to actually read the, all this data from the comma separated file in the next videos. But this is how you will be creating the disk. And let me also bring the another script to attach the uh, script to the existing VM. So for example, uh, this is a script for attaching um, I think some of those references I've already given here. So this is the script for attaching the disks for uh, existing resources, uh, existing virtual machines. So you need to say manage disk ID. So that's the manage disk. Uh, this is a manage disk ID uh, reference. So this is a disk one and then ID. And you need to mention the virtual machine uh, ID also, so virtual machine will be reading from virtual machine and dot VM dot ID. So that will refer the virtual machine. That means you are attaching this uh, managed disk to the virtual machine given here. And then <clears throat> this is a unique ID for each uh, disk you need to specify in the double quotes, uh, otherwise you may get an error. And this is the read only disk I'm adding for this. So let's run again. So if you want to run again, so what I will do is I will say Terraform um, validate. That's the first uh, command so that if there are any configuration errors, this will show you. And then I will also say format in case if you want to apply and then Terraform plan. So Terraform plan, uh, so it says no changes, uh, let me see. So when I rerun, it is showing uh, there are two resources adding, no changes or no destroy. So that's exactly what I'm expecting here. So the disk which is created uh, should be displayed here. So that's the Terraform plan. Let me say Terraform apply. <clears throat> so I will say run those two changes. So if I go to here, I would expect the the disk, the data disk created and then associated to the existing uh, VM1. So the managed disk is getting created. Now those two resources got created. If I go to here, I would expect the new manage disk for the data disk got added. And if I want to see that uh, the attached to the VM, so this is the standard LRS disk is added, which is uh, 1024 uh, gigabytes of the hard disk. So that's how uh, it will be attaching the creating the managed disk that attaching. So I will continue uh, this in the next video. I'm going to focus more on the uh, Windows virtual machine. So uh, let me see if I have it. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Uh, if you continue watching, you will see uh, the next video. I'm going to talk about the creating the virtual machine using the Windows, the Terraform uh, for the Windows. Thank you.